Hey everybody, I'm Joe Pro, and welcome to my channel. I will be continuing today playing Paper Mario 64, my Mario Maker courses. And so on this special course, uh, it is the first half of Chapter 1 of Paper Mario 64 for Nintendo 64. If you haven't seen my last video, check that out. It's for the Paper Mario Prologue for the same game. And it was uh, so popular, kinda sorta, that I decided I would go ahead and make Chapter 1. And so I've already made Chapter 1, all of Chapter 1, and uh, in the next video, which will be coming out in a week or two, make sure to come back for that, we will be doing Koopa Brothers Fortress, which is part two. So this is part one, and without further ado, let's get going. All right, so we walk into Toad Town. We come underneath this little red thing here, and there's immediately a pipe that brings us to Mario's house. So if we go down that pipe, and then we are at Mario and Luigi's house. We have the pipes back here. We have the uh, front part with the red, and then the little back uh, taller green building. And we also have a chimney that in this game is blowing out some steam. And uh, the windows are all in place and everything, so we can go ahead and head on inside. And inside we got the little plant, and we got this little uh, fireplace thing, we got the beds. You can even go down here through the trap door and get the coin, which is supposed to be like the diary. And also, if you've ever wondered what's in their backyard that's not shown in the game, well, now you know. They have a pet chain chomp and a lot of pipes, so that makes sense. Now, I will mention that of the three courses I've made now, this one, the Paper Mario Prologue, and the Paper Mario... Um, Chapter 1, Part 2, which is the Koopa Brothers Fortress. This one is my least favorite. It was a lot to squeeze into a tiny amount of room, and Mario Maker doesn't have a lot of options for some of the things that I wanted to do, but I did my best with it, and I think that the next one is my favorite. Uh, Koopa Brothers Fortress turned out so great, so I'm excited to show you guys that. All right, so here we have the item shop and also the dojo. Uh, note that if you go through this door, you'll just appear in that door, so I'm not gonna bother with that. You got this little wood area here, just a second ago, what's his name, uh, Chan was up there, or Lee, or whatever his name was, the little blue guy, but he's gone now, so we won't worry about that. And then uh, we move on to the next screen of Toad Town where we have a tree, followed by Merlin's house. And as you can see, there's still things, it's still trying to assemble. Oh, there's the guy. Let's go ahead and take him out. Um, or just set them down. Yeah, so this assembles off screen to create a cool spinning roof effect and uh, You know, that's just the best it could be no point in going in there yet because you know Merlin will not open that door until you've gone to shooting star summit, so uh, This is the bi much bigger door that brings you to Princess Peach's castle and shooting star summit also over here instead of being blocked by Koopa brothers it is blocked by Kent C Koopa who's normally on the other side, but He's gonna be over here in place of the Koopa Brothers blocking us today. And so we cannot get past him until we have Merlin's help. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Shooting Star Summit. And there's Peach's castle, not really, but there's Bowser's um, castle, kind of, floating up in the air. This is the uh, leftovers and that flag there. And then we have the little bridge, which brings us into the icy Shooting Star Summit. I know it's not really ice, but we'll go with it. So then you can uh, come through here, and this represents climbing the mountain all the way to the top, where we have all of our uh, star spirits. You get to talk to them, and then we're just going to go ahead and hit that P switch. we got to race back real fast, and you will see why in just a second. So once you hit the P switch, it allows you to, if you run into Merlin's house really quickly, you can get that coin. So I just hit the coin. It used to be a block, but it was a coin, which allows me to pick up this and uh, this is gonna basically represent Merlin's power. And so, if you hadn't already gone to the Shooting Star Summit, you wouldn't be able to get this power. So we use Merlin's power to open the way to chapter one. So we have continued through Toad Town, and then we are on the next screen, which we can see we just went through this pipe onto the next screen, where we have a bridge and a red Koopa and a tree, and then a Goomba, and uh, all these blocks should be positioned correctly. Another tree. And, uh, oh yeah, so here in the game, if you hit that block, a POW switch will come out. So I use that, and then we gotta be real careful here not to mess up. This is, this is tough. Well, I kinda messed up, but, so in the game, you hit the, uh, tree with a, uh, yeah, you hit the tree, and then a POW switch comes out. So we get that, and it was supposed to turn it into a bridge, but I kinda ruined that, so sorry guys and then there's another tree there so we're gonna keep going on ahead now without wasting too much time sorry I messed up the one part I'm gonna 
I'm gonna die here on this guy, so I'm just gonna jump over him. Okay, so then we get here, and if you go down, it goes to Koopa Village, but if we go up, just like in the other game, and you come here, there's a bush and coins, and the red Koopa jumps out. So that's a fun part that I enjoy. Uh, we're gonna leave him naked there. Here's like a thunder bolt or something, and so we have that spiked Goomba. And then eventually we get to a point where we cannot continue until we get our Koopa partner because there is no bridge over the water. In this case, I had to make my own version of that. And so there it is. So we're going to go ahead and get Koopa. And note that, yes, you can exploit this level because you can just use any Koopa to get through there. But for these purposes, we are going to get the actual Koopa. Okay, so now uh, we come down here. And we can find this Koopa here. We got those three blocks there. Got the item shop or the uh, the toad house and the item shop. And of course, we can't build every house because it's just too much. And um, if we come over here, we have Koopy Coot over there. He's a little old and you can't go into his house, but we can go into Cooper's house. So we're going to do that. And it actually brings us out to his back door where you can see the little bridge here on the right. And um, he also has the little skylight on his house, which brings you over to the fuzzy mini game area. We can uh, pick up Coops, or uh, Cooper, I keep wanting to call him Coops. We go ahead and get Cooper's shell, which represents basically getting Cooper. And we're gonna be real careful here. We're gonna navigate all the way back up using the correct partner's shell. Like I said, it's easy to exploit this level because you can, uh, you can easily just use any Koopa for this part. This is one of my favorite parts though. I found a way to make it where throwing a Koopa shell actually hits a switch, which builds a bridge and allows you safe passage to the other side. So that's a pretty fun part that I enjoy. Um, that box has a fire flower as normal, and then there's a tree which allows you to head over to the Koopa Brothers Fortress area where you go through a few of these stone pillars and flying Koopas, and this Koopa is gonna be annoying and come over here and encourage me to die, it looks like, but we're gonna hope that that does not happen. So in this part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait till you have a chance and then you're gonna have to throw bombs up into here. And I almost died there. But yeah, so you have to actually, this is the one spot where once you have Bombette, you can uh, break that, the, the stone wall and then you can take the pipe up to that building. So that is that building right there. And instead of just going to the right and going to Cooper Brothers Fortress, you actually have to go ahead and break this now since we won't be coming back here, which will bring you to the top uh, as normal, which tells us that the Koopa Brothers are that way and so we come down the right side of it which brings us to the front entrance of the Koopa Brothers Fortress and of course we finish the level and that is part one so part two continues right off right here you're gonna get a chance to go inside that pipe and see what's going on so that will be on the next episode so make sure to come back for that okay so with that said, if you want to stick around just for another second, I'm going to show you some of the level real fast. Um, it's going to be very brief. So of course we have this section. This is how I populate the spinning roof is those just fall in and then they rotate. And then if we go this way, this is all a fake area. So if you're standing here, it looks like the bridge is there, but it cuts off. And then this is the interior of Merlin's house. So as you can see, he has his uh, the POW block there, which is like his crystal ball, but you can't get it until you hit that P-switch. Um, this is also a fake door. This is the real area, climbing, shooting star summit. And then over here is actually the end of the level. Um, and so like when you come up here, the other thing's not actually down there, if you get what I'm saying. So I had to be real creative with that. Um, around here, it actually gets pretty crazy. So the inside of their house is squeezed in up here and the outside's down here. And then like this star door is just there. So when you're standing here, the, it looks like it's in the right spot. And then this is basically the majority of the level is done through here. And then when you go through this door and you go out the back side, it actually, the back side is here. And so that way it flips this area and everything's symmetrical so that it looks like other than this door being here, which I couldn't help, it looks like it's the uh, backside. And then if you're up here, then you can basically see how this works. You can't jump over that and the thwomp will hit the P-switch and that all works out. And then, yeah, the pipe, which um, brings you over to the other side. This pipe's just here to spawn the bombs. It has no other purpose. So anyways, that's my level. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys the next one. Make sure to come back next week and subscribe if you haven't already. I have plenty of great Paper Mario content on my channel. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.